Real quick, I just wanted to say I have channel memberships now, so if you're interested in things like early videos, emotes, and access to my scripting backlogs, maybe check it out. Okay, time for the video. I swear I logged on to Risk of Rain 2 for the first time in a while, and I thought Rex was just a smudge on my screen. Like, what is he, some kind of fish? I mean, I really don't know how this vegetation-infested vampire robot somehow became the poster child for forgettable characters in this game. But for whatever reason, his unique health management mechanic became a turnoff for many unseasoned Rort players. Because god forbid you have some unique gameplay in your looter shooter that isn't just get the enemy's health to zero. But those who know the way of this little symbiotic goblin have become masters in the art of Rex and have taken him from the tier of who? To a Dune Strider pushing life-consuming vehicle of death. But, you know, not any higher on the tier list. I feel like a main culprit of Rex's lack of notoriety is simply the way you unlock them. Instead of just beating a specific boss or starting enough runs or getting a certain ending, with Rex you have to pick a character with an escape pod, take a volatile fuel array that will kill you if you go below half health to a specific stage 4, and finally find Rex's corpse that you can jam that damn battery back in him. Now while some may call this confusing or difficult or unclear that you can even fucking press E on your escape pod at all, what it actually is is restricting Rex's power for those who mastered the game so well that they never so much as fall below 50% HP. Or just cheese the whole thing with multi. Really, either one is a true testament of strength. And what power is Hopu or Gearbox whatever guarding from us, you might ask? How about control over all plant life? Is that good enough for you? Does that satiate your appetite? Using Mother Nature as your own personal ammo reserve for seed barrages and vine grips? I fucking hope so, because if not, a certain cute little robot might be planting Jack's magic beans in your brainstem and waiting for them to grow. <clears throat> With Rex, you get an ability layout that's bisected right down the middle. These green guys on the left are the safe ones. They'll do everything you need to. They'll deal good damage, they'll heal you, they'll inflict enemies with your special weakened debuff that reduces their movement speed armor and damage. They're great. We only see them when they send postcards, but when they do, we make sure everyone sees them when they walk in the door. These purple guys on the right, though... Well... Let's just say that while they always take you to the best parties, they introduce you to some of your closest friends that they're definitely doing some shady shit on the side, okay? I don't know what, but in return for a pretty meaty slice of your HP, they'll deal big damage, low cooldown damage, AoE damage, that forbidden fruit type shit. And the strategy, just like in real life, is to find how many stuffed animals you're gonna keep, and how large that tattoo is gonna be. Whether you want that roller coaster of an HP bar, or to actually be able to play on Eclipse 8 is up to you, but it's usually a good idea to have a little bit of both. It's that tactical use of your skill set to do enough damage to yourself that you're shredding bosses down to paper scraps, while not so much that you can't heal it back that makes Rex so rewarding. We're not just in the gaming business for funny big numbers. We want those funny big numbers while feeling like our brain is currently large enough to have a gravitational pull that draws in mercury. You know what, let's have a look at some of those abilities, shall we? The primary is the only thing you can't choose on Rex. You have to stick with the nerf version, probably because if you had an option for a primary that did damage to you, that 90% of the player base would be killing themselves just by selecting him. Either way, it's your main source of healing, and it'll inflict that signature weakness debuff that gives Rex players a party in their pants upon Not picking again. up Deathmark. But, when we get to the secondary, things get spicier. The green secondary is a high damage, high cooldown volley that'll give your proc item 16 chances to do some work. Great if you're not super keen on Carpal Tunnel, but Rex's purple secondary is gonna be a 0.5 second cooldown mortar that'll leech 15% of your soul every time you click it, with no direct way to heal you, destroys their health and yours, perfect for any little fletchling masochist out there. But be ready to be clicking. A lot. And just in case you're sitting there back home wondering how the hell you're actually supposed to get around the stage with this character, well, uh... It's not going to be about running, I'll tell you that much. Look at those poor fucks. No, it's going to require a full 180 degree heel turn and a jump, because why would anything be simple on this character? Introducing Rex's utility, a blast that pushes Rex back while used in the air that's either going to deal damage and heal in return for some health, or just weaken whoever you use it on. Now, whichever one you choose, it's also going to push the enemy back. Push him into pits, push him into nukes, push him in the uncaring void, push him into debt. I don't care, just don't call me at 3 in the morning crying about push pop, some of us have lives. And look, I've been willing to entertain the less optimal loadouts for this character since there are people out there that do just enjoy... fun? I think I'm reading that word right? But here, without any bias at all, let me read you Rex's specials. The chill unlockable special, Directive Harvest, fires a singular bullet at one enemy, and if they die in the next 10 seconds, then they'll drop fucking guavas or something. The HP draining ability, Tangling Growth, fires a singular bullet that sprouts a hibiscus from the underbelly of hell itself that will start leeching any enemy's health that walks into its circle of torment even after the enemy dies and sets their movement speed to let me check zero. Just do yourself a favor with this one.
And I know, after reading all these abilities, nothing I've said really adds up to why this character is usually the one that makes people fail their Sporkle quizzes. I mean, it's got the damage, the gimmicks, the whole forbidden love thing going on. Christ, it makes healing reds half decent. Healing reds. That's it. If no one's gonna spread the word on Rex, it looks like I'll have to. You gotta buff Rex. Do something to get people to play this character. Give him a billion health, microbots, charged gauntlet, anything. Wait, wait, no, he's already fading into obscurity. Rex, please, come back!